I was doing your dish, you know, doing my dishes and picking things up, and the television was on, and when the first plane hit the Twin Towers, and I stopped and was watching that, and then, of course, the second plane a few minutes later. It was the morning of September 11th, and like millions of others, Patsy Moss's eyes were glued to the TV screen. I just got up to go in and get me a cup of coffee when they said the Pentagon, and it's just like if someone took a ball bat or something and hit me in the stomach. That's because her son Brian had just started a job in the Pentagon working in communications. I just remember thinking, oh God, please, no, no, no. The minutes turned to hours. I just kept hoping that maybe he had you know, amnesia or something, you know, and because I knew immediately if, if he had a phone by him, if he was any way possible, you know, I would have got a phone call. Eight days later, officials confirmed Brian was among the 184 who died at the Pentagon. Brian was one of a kind. He was genuine. He was honest. What you see was what you got. There was no pretense about him. However he felt, you knew exactly how he felt. If he loved you, you knew it. And I don't know of anyone that he didn't, that he didn't care about. He led a good life. He loved his life. And he tried to make life so much easier and happier for everybody.